Um, hello, I'm doing a demonstration today of the SPS1 I have on eBay to just demonstrate that it's working really. I'm not going to show you all the functions. Um, I'll be using my Bourgeois, which has a Sunrise pickup and a uh, Fishman under the saddle pickup and it's being sent to the SPS1 via this SPS1 module. The module right now, the balance, the balance here, I'll get it closer, the balance is going to be set right in the middle at the detente and I'll adjust the balance um, manually through the SPS1 just for this demonstration. Here's the overall, the overall volume of both pickups. Okay, let's zoom back in on the uh, actual unit so you can see it a little better. Um, I'm going through a uh, Claris, no, a 10-2 amplifier and it's the, uh, all the controls are set uh, to 12 o'clock so it's all the EQ will be coming from the SPS-1. Now I've already um, sort of set this up. First let me show you this. This is the um, foot pedal. This turns the whole thing on and off. I never use that, but uh, maybe somebody might want to use it. Here's just if you want to turn the, the effects on and off. So that is the rest of that one. I won't do anything more. Okay, so right now I've got uh, the two pickups are hooked up into the guitar to the uh, stereo jack, and the S no the Sunrise is going to channel two, and the Fishman is going to channel one. Let's turn channel two down. <laughs> That's the uh, what's coming out of the Fishman pickup on the saddle. So this is the frequency of the parametric EQ for the low band. This is the width of the parametric band. Then this is how much gain you have on that band. You've got three bands for each channel. So. strings on this bourgeois so that's why it... I do that because it, the sunrise picks up the electric guitar strings a little bit better I think maybe I like the tone of the acoustic guitar strings though it gives more of a natural but anyway so you can see how they're silver instead of sort of goldish all right so there um, let's look at what's coming out of the sunrise pickup <laughs> The bass 
up on that. Sunrise pickup was out of phase with the um, Fishman. The reason I knew that was because when you add the two pickups together, hear how when I dial that in, you just gradually hear the bass rolling on. Well, when they're out of phase, what happens? You dial it in, and you get to a point where they perfectly cancel, and then the bass just di dips. So you know you got them out of phase, and the pendulum preamp on the back, you can set the phase of either channel to reverse. And I reversed, I think I reversed, you could, I could have reversed either one and they would be in phase, but I reversed the, the sunrise. No, I think I reversed this one. It doesn't matter. Okay. <laughs> So that's if you're, uh, you're getting feedback from the uh, amplifier feeding back into the guitar while well, you can change the phase of the amplifier and sometimes that'll help with your feedback problem. This, is, uh, this button right here tells whether you're getting, I've got it out right now, which means it's getting, you're hearing both channels one and two, but if I put, in, put it in, just hearing this Okay, so that illustrates the focus here is the monitor volume. is I'm going via a regular guitar cable 
to my uh, my Claris acoustic image amplifier, and I, that the monitor out has a regular um, quarter inch jack. So, and you've got left or right, and this controls the volume of both left and right. You don't get a balance for the monitor send, but for the master send, you've got an overall. Um, the overall master volume for the master out, so there's a whole different sort of channel. So this is the monitor, if you're sending yourself a monitor signal, then you can have the master signal different. And then the master signal, you can have uh, stereo, just like the monitor is stereo, you can have the master stereo, and each channel can be having different balance in the left and the right, which I've never used, but um, I guess it could come in handy when you're in uh, doing a stereo setup. Right now I just have both of the uh, channel and one, channel two set to the center. But let's just, uh, right now I'm going to, I'll just show you for a second the amplifier the way we have it now. Yes. All right, so here we are. Now I've replaced my uh, quarter inch monitor out cable with the uh, microphone cable coming out of the master. So now what we're hearing is the master out. So now uh, I, I've set the uh, balance back to um, center for the, the pickup module. You can adjust the um, the blend between the two pickups on the fly using your module here, and I think for different songs you would want different um, balances. and I'm only hearing the 
sunrise pickup because the sunrise, I've only got the left channel going into here right now. I'll test the right channel in a second. Or I could do likewise. I could turn the uh, um, Fishman all the way up. So it's panned all the way right, but now I put the Fishman pan all the way right, and I'm hearing the same balance that I've got set right here. Got little peak in indicators there. All right, let's uh, check the other channel. So I'll take a moment and um, take the uh, channel and put it onto, instead of the left, I'll put it onto the right. Now I'm going to turn it up. I have to pan over to the right to hear everything. for today. I think I've shown pretty much. Oh, one thing I will mention, when I changed the output on the master and I went from the left channel to the right channel, I had, since this is a mono effect, it's only going out one channel and into the other, the same channel. So if I have a mono effect that I want to go to stereo, I have to come out, well this actually is stereo, so I could take both of the outputs here and put it into the um, both of the in the return the stereo returns and then I wouldn't have to what I did is I had to take the uh, mono send and return for this and jump it over to the um, uh, to the right channel instead of the left channel so I'd still have the EQ okay I guess that's about it so it's all working there you go